This is James Bullock with WarriorScience.com. Today we're going to expose some of the myths of personal protection. Today we're going to cover um, some myths of personal protection and even martial arts. I, I hate putting those two together, but there's a lot of martial arts techniques that are passed off as effective, street-worthy movements. And well, it's a lie. It's just a bold-faced fantasy is what it is. And, it, and, it, and I'm smiling because there are people that believe it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just start with a, with a couple. I'm going to have Jesse come in here. And some of you will laugh with me because some of this is really uh, common sense stuff. But it's... When people go to instructors, whether it's martial arts, personal protection, they, they invest their belief, they invest their money and their time into that instructor and believe what they say. So, you know, things like this will happen. They'll, they'll teach defense against a single wrist grab. Really? Why would I teach getting away from this when the second I'm grabbed, I just do that and repeat as needed until he lets go. Not, not this, not, not, not things like this, you know, or some fancy rollover move, and then I'm going to do some awesome throw, you know, and all this kind of stuff. Literally, when someone grabs you, especially if you're a female, they grab you. Sometimes our instinct is to, hey, get off me. Well, if he's a guy and he's stronger than you, obviously he's going to kind of hold you there for a second. Well, if he pulls me, palm, stay out of face as many times as possible. Claw the guy's face, stick your fingers in his eyeballs, grab his face, his throat, you know, stomp on his foot, his knee, his groin, whatever you want to do. I would always suggest using upper body tools first, but it, it doesn't matter. He grabs this hand. That's the answer. He grabs this hand. You know, he's got both of them. I still have legs. I can stomp on his shins. I can stomp on his feet, his knees, you know, type of thing. Why in the world? What am I doing here? Are we getting ready to do some awesome dance? This is not, this, what, how is this an attack? This is an invasion of space, and if someone invades your space, you should respond in escalation. I call it the game of escalation. You grab me when I don't want you to, I'm going to smash your face, and you don't want me to. So it's, it's, that, it's that game of escalation. Same thing, this kind of stuff is taught. He grabs my lapel. Defense against lapel grabs, really? He's gonna grab me like this? The only time this will really happen is maybe, maybe in some club scenario you have an actual jacket on or something, someone grabs you so they can punch you in the mouth. That's what's gonna happen. So why would I do this stuff, then this? Sure, does that hurt, Jesse? Does that, it hurts? Well, yeah. Thank you so much for allowing me to grab your hand Rotating it all the way over, then pushing it downward so that you can feel the pain. That's called being a good training partner. No. Bullshit. If he actually grabs me, same thing. Palm to face. Why am I going to deal with the arm? I'm not a fan of dealing with the arm unless that arm is an actual threat. And somebody might go, what if he grabs you and puts you against the wall? I don't care if I'm against the wall, I don't care if I'm on the ground, I don't care if I'm sitting next to him and he just grabs me. I don't care. I am still going to insert as many times as possible to get the desired result. And to me this is all common sense, but there are actually martial arts systems, and granted, in traditional martial arts schools, now let me really, I'm very serious with this, there are traditional martial arts systems, yes that's a part of their system. But those are traditional martial arts. That doesn't mean that that actually works in the real world. It's done for artistic sake. It's done for tradition and, and historical value. I still teach some traditional martial arts. And I still actively practice every single week, multiple times a week, traditional martial arts. And we have things like grabs and stuff. And we're wearing our traditional martial arts uniform and everything. There's value in the system itself. But it doesn't mean that value carries over to everyday life. It doesn't mean that that actually works. So it's one of those things where I don't care how they grab you. It's like a single throat grab, you know. He grabs me here. It doesn't matter. 
Now, if he actually knows, I've taught Jesse how to actually grab a throat and grab the trachea. That's actually dangerous. This right here, what is this? What is me just trying to, all he has to do is keep walking away from me. And I'm going to have to like catch up and he's going to hopefully punch me in the mouth or smack me in the face or something. So if he grabs my throat, number one, how did we get here? How did I let him get this far? It doesn't make any sense. If he does, I might grab for just a second and palm strike him. And then do whatever else I want that's very mean and nasty. So I don't care how you're grabbed. It doesn't matter if it's double, you know, or anything else. This, well, how did you get here? Why did you allow this to happen? There's things, there's such things as, you know, being sucker punched. Like he's turned sideways. You know, he's looking that way, talking to his friend, and he gets sucker punched. I get that. But there's not going to be this. Really? No. Anytime someone's grabbing you, you can anticipate that someone else is grabbing you so that another person can beat the hell out of you. That can happen, especially in a bar situation or in a club situation. But this stuff? Oh, really? No. Please don't waste your time on that. This is a really good answer to a lot of things. If he's standing a little bit further away from me, and I already believe that there's going to be a situation. I've tried to just de-escalate it. Uh, I can't really get away or anything else. And I feel that there's actually a threat. Then whatever he goes for, if he tries to grab my hand or anything, my response is going to be the same thing. He tries to punch me. You know, I respond to the same thing. He bull rushes me. You know, hey, that happens to work every single time. I'm going to do that if this gets stopped the other one gets involved. If those get stopped, something else gets involved. So don't fall prey. And there are those on the internet right now that are teaching these as tactical maneuvers, tactical tips and different things like that. It's not a tactical thing to do, do you know, Aikido moves or jujitsu moves or anything like that. Same thing goes for in the MMA world. Don't, for the love of everything that is holy in this world, do an arm bar on the ground against somebody in real life. Please don't do that. If you do, you deserve to get your the crap beat out of you. You really do. But don't do that. Don't fall prey to these myths and things. So, that's it for today. He crosses his arms again. I can pin his arms and go straight for his face and then end up getting his throat or whatever. A better way for him to stand is to just overlap. Because the second I touch that top arm, let's say he's not even against the wall. That's another, there, there's another self-awareness tip. 